Hi, my name is Tim Wellbanks. <clears throat> I'm a product development agronomist. Today I'm here to talk to you about uh, the proper moisture range for BMR corn silage. So why is this important? So um, brown mid-rib corn is different from conventional grain corn. Uh, we have to select hybrids that basically have mature grain on, a, on an immature plant or a green plant. Brown midrib corn or BMR corn um, develops both the whole plant and the grain uh, get to maturity at roughly the same rate. Selecting the proper harvest moisture. This basically depends on the type of uh, storage structure that you are using for your, for your corn silage. So for large tower silos, we recommend whole plant moistures of 63 to 68%. For uh, bunker silos, which are becoming more predominant, we uh, recommend a moisture range of 66 to 70 percent. For large bunkers, bigger than the one that we're standing in today, uh, we, would, we would advise you to be in the upper end of that moisture range. This will help you pack the silage more, get a quicker, uh, get the air out of that silage, um, make it easier to pack and uh, get to an anaerobic fermentation so uh, you can preserve your nutrients uh, and silage uh, in a more timely fashion. The third uh, storage structure you should consider are bags. bags bag silage is very similar to um, uh, bunks. Uh, the moisture range we uh, recommend for that is 66 to 68 percent moisture. How do you determine uh, the moisture for your uh, corn silage? So there's no real way to uh, look at the plant or look at parts of the plant and determine the moisture. The best way to determine the moisture is uh, you need to go out and sample five to 10 plants. So sample five to 10 whole plants, chop them somehow, use a leaf shredder or leaf chipper, and then you've got sort of a composite uh, sample of forage. Um, the next thing you need to do is uh, moisture test that. There are two ways you can do that. Uh, we really like the uh, method uh, using a coster tester. A coster tester is a, is a moisture tester with a, a heating element in the bottom, has a small fan, blows hot air up through a basket on the top. What you do is you weigh out 500 grams of uh, forage in the basket, put it on top of the coster tester, let it uh, dry for 30 minutes. Or you weigh the sample, you put it on uh, the tester again and uh, re-weigh it after five minutes. If the uh, weight is similar, then, then you're, uh, you have a dry sample. The other way you can test uh, for forage moisture is by m using a microwave. Uh, make sure you use a dedicated microwave for this, not, not the microwave in the kitchen. But um, so what you, you also need a scale. So you take 100 grams of your uh, forage sample, you put it in the microwave for about five minutes, uh, bring it out, weigh it, put it back in for another two or three minutes, and so on and so on. Once the samples start to uh, be the same weight, then you know you've got dry forage. So then you need to calculate uh, your moisture content. So it's quite simple. So if you had a 100 gram sample to start with, if you ended up with uh, 30 grams of dry forage, that would mean, mean you'd have uh, basically 70% moisture silage. We use a, a, a factor of, uh, we add one or two extra points because there's literally no way you can get all the forage moisture out of that sample. So, it, um, so that would mean you'd have 72% moisture forage. You'll be almost ready for harvest for a bunker silo at 72% moisture. For a tower silo, you'll be at least uh, uh, four to eight days away. Uh, corn, whole plant corn silage will dry down roughly half a point of moisture a day in the fall. If it's a hot, windy weather conditions, it can dry up to one point of moisture per day. So that's, that's where you're gonna be at least uh, six to eight days away from having the right moisture for a conventional tower silo. The other recommendation we'd like to make is that uh, every, if you have corn silage in different fields, each field is different. Like you might have a different hybrid, you may have a different fertility program, there may be different disease in that field. Um, so you need to sample each field intended for corn silage separately so that you can monitor the moisture of that uh, corn silage. Getting the right moisture for corn silage is very important. If it's too wet, 
uh, you'll have uh, seepage or, or leakage out the bottom of the silo. That, that liquid has a lot of nutrients in it. You don't want that. You'll have the improper fermentation. That silage will not be very palatable for the cattle. The cattle won't eat as much. They will not milk as much on silage that is too wet. If you have silage that is too dry, uh, you could uh, be subject to uh, yeast and mold formation in that silage. The bacteria in it have to use up any air that's in that silage, so that could lead to uh, uh, loss of nutrients there. So, so that is the reason why you need to really concentrate and get the proper um, uh, moisture range for your BMR corn silage. We hope you find these tips uh, useful for uh, determining the right uh, moisture for your BMR corn silage and we wish you a safe and productive harvest this fall.